Hello, Dinky Doo. My heart is it's just me, Scotty McClue, popping up to say hi to every one of you. And of course, Dinky Doo, lovely to have a chance just to pop up. I popped up um, last night, and of course, I had to dash because I was going live on Nation Radio, uh, Nation Radio Scotland on 96.3 on the FM. So I was extremely busy last night and had to pop off early, but I thought I'd pop up again, of course. And um, one of the reasons for me popping up is I'm appealing uh, for some pennies for a friend. And if all of you can give £2.50, many of you have already been very, 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 very generous indeed. And that's much appreciated. But if you could see your way to part with £2.50 and pop it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, that would be very, very, very much appreciated indeed. So please come and join me in my appeal. And as I say, if you can pop some pennies in, that'd be great. David McClellan says, dinky do. David Steele says, hi, Scotty. Hi, David. Lovely to have you with us. Stephen Horst was there and Kareem Zakaria is there. Thank you very much. Thank you to every single one of you who's already given to the appeal as well. Very, very much appreciated. And uh, as I say, it's only £2.50. And if you can spare that into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word, then you'll see the links up on the Facebook page. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do from Jody O'Hare, Barry Elder, etc. Dinky do. John Boyle, great show last night. It was a fabulous show on Nation Radio last night, John. Wonderful. Scotty, when I get my money in a few days, I'll put £20 in for you. Who's saying that? You're very, very generous. Carl Carlos Donnelly. But please, only if you can spare it. Do not go to bother, I say. But it is very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, Jim Hiddleston, Dinky Doo, Jonathan Darwin, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, just popping up for you. The lighting seems to be okay tonight. I think I may have cracked it. So there you are. There's the wonderful Gordon Roddick, of course. He's already been extremely generous on many, many occasions. Gordon, thank you for that. Way above and beyond. So much appreciated. But um, you, of course, are, uh, are not having to pop £2.50 in. But uh, if everyone else can pop £2.50 in to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, that would be great. Stevie Kerr, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. And of course, the thing last night, I had to dash, and we had a huge audience. I think with over a thousand of you. Tremendous. Hi, dinky, says Ryan. Hi, Ryan, how are we? Carl Carlos Donnelly, I can spare, don't worry. Hi, Mr. McClue from our broth. We're on our holidays, says Neil Mills Jr. Fantastic. On your holidays. Evening, Scotty. What's up? Nothing up, Michael Paul McVeigh. I'm just appealing for £2.50 for a friend of mine in need. So there you go. <coughs> if you can all spare, that would be absolutely tremendous. Craig Brown, Dinky Doo, Raymond Benson. Good evening, Scotty McClure. Good evening, Raymond. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Always good to have you all with us. And thank you for joining us in the watch parties as well and the pop-ups. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Says Alan Maitland. Very well, Alan. Thank you very much for joining us and Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. What are you all thinking of the Brexit? Let's see what's happening. There's Alistair King, the world's top mechanic and engineer, watching right now. Dinky Doo, Alistair. I still haven't got the old car going, but I think it might be a fuel pressure switch. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. But that was a great bit of intelligence you gave us that the injections tend not to flood. There we go. I did like that. I really did. Very much appreciated. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClue with a quick pop-up just for you. Roberto White says, hi, Scotty McClue. Hello, Roberto. Lovely to have you with us. I see you solved the light problem, Scotty. Yes, Alistair, I think we have. How's it looking tonight? What I've done is I've repositioned the light so that my, uh, my camera 
is well ahead of it because I think it was getting into the camera. The wonderful Gordon Roddick's watching and nobody knows more about television than that gentleman, I can tell you. And uh, Gordon, you could probably put this lighting right in a second or two. Tremendous. So there we are, all the cameras that you've lined up in your time. Now, I'm just going to, <coughs> pardon me, I've just popped up on Periscope on Twitter, so there you are. Uh, I'm fine too, mate, says Alan Maitland. I'm very pleased to hear that, Alan. There's the wonderful Stuart McFarlane watching. Dinky-doo, come and join us. Scotty McClue just doing a quick live pop-up just for you. Richard Hazard, hello, hello. How are we? Right, what have we got here? Let's see. There we go. Excellent stuff. And um, not too bad. Still not perfect, but a lot better, says Alistair King. Good, Alistair. I'm pleased to hear that. This is you we're talking about. Oh, the lighting. Sorry, the lighting's not perfect. I thought we we're talking about your good self. Let me do some more things with the lights. I know I shouldn't, but let me see if we can improve it at all. Is that any better? You know? Uh, how's that looking, Alistair? Is that an improvement? Is that a little bit warmer there? Um, I'd rather help someone that needs help. Thank you, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Um, this gentleman could do with a wee hand. I've done what I can, but uh, I thought to myself, if we can all just chip in £2.50, then it would ease his suffering. And uh, that's what we want to do, you know what I mean? And I think, I mean, I've been around long enough. If Scotty McClure's made you smile, say, is the old fella worth £2.50? Yes, I think he probably is, actually. There's Adam Fuller, dinky do -a. You know, I think we're getting some of these adverts coming up. You look yellow, says Alistair. So there you are. Sorry about that. Little advert popping up there. I don't know if you get that in your phone. Ads pop up. Well, can we make ourselves a, a wee bit less yellow, would you say? Wee bit less yellow. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Oh. Oh. How's that, Alistair? Um, let me know what that looks like. Jim Heron's watching. There's another wonderful man, a great uh, theatre man who would know exactly about lighting. Um, you know, I've probably, um, you know, most people uh, will have, uh, oh my goodness, Jim Heron, you'll have uh, forgotten more about lighting. Uh, how are you, says Erica Meyer in uh, Australia. Dinky do, Erica, lovely to have you with us. Perfect. Spot on, says Alistair. Good, Alistair, a lot brighter. With, I think we've cracked it. So there we are. I love it. Solutions are wonderful, aren't they? That's better, says Erica Meyer. Dinky do. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Shamsul Rimmon, lovely to have you with us. And Tracy Cunningham, one of the country top broadcasters superb lady she is watching as well i'm just going to share this i don't see why not and uh, as i say if you can do the same that would be absolutely terrific so we'll share there and it says uh share now a public share so i'm just going to do that and that will go on its way. Perfect, says Wilma Monroe. Fantastic, lovely. A Scotty McClue pop-up just for you, dinky-doo. How's the face looking? I mean, is it very pale? Is it blotchy? Is it red? Is it clear? You tell me what you're actually getting here. Peter Lockwood, hi from Yorkshire. Aye, lovely to have you with us, Peter. You know, and a warm welcome, as I say, to uh, Scotty McClue's pop-up. That's uh, fantastic. That was me trying a Yorkshire accent there. Nigel Bateman, dinky-doo. Of course, I've lived in Yorkshire uh, for a long time in my life, and what a privilege that was, I have to tell you. Somebody was telling me the other day, and without sounding a bit like I'm blowing any trumpets, they were saying, you've done some amazing things in your life. I don't know. Have I? Uh, so they are. Scotty, what's up with your sound? I'm on a mobile. My volume's on full and you're quiet. Scotty McClue is quiet, Michael Paul McVeigh. Wow. Well, let's just check. Is that any better? So do let me know. Is the sound any better? Is that helping? Uh, so try that. I'll pop up for you any time. Says Adam Fuller. Thank you, Adam. Uh, Adam, I'm sorry that I had to error out your comments yesterday, but they were appearing a little bit flippant when it was a serious subject. Do you know what I mean? I think you'd maybe misjudged the mood of it a wee bit, but that was it. What did you think of the Queen's speech? I couldn't make sense of her uh, leaving uh, Johnson in 
Barra. Uh, it was very interesting, the Queen's speech. I mean, the poor Queen, um, you know, she's she's got to make all that. That's obviously written. And then she's got to deliver all that. And the great concern that other parties had was that it would come across as effectively uh, a party political broadcast for the Conservative Party. And I can see Mr. Johnson looking extremely smug in the... Uh, in the chamber. Uh, so there you go. So we'll see. Clear face, looking well, says Wilma Monroe. Excellent, Wilma. Good for that. Uh, uh, lovely stuff. If you see this down here, that's a little bit of psoriasis. Psoriasis. Uh, have you got any closer to the Brexit deal yet? I don't know what the trouble is. Well, I think the thing is that most people now want to remain. And um, people are very anxious that we don't leave the EU. Uh, so that's what's happening. So there's a big, big push for Remain, Erica. So that's been the problem over the last three and a half years, is the truth is we didn't want to leave, but they didn't want to say to the people who had voted leave, look, your vote is worthless, because really, effectively, the referendum, if we're, let's be honest about it, it was a party political stunt that went horribly wrong for the party and split the party. That's what's going on there. Charles E. Diver, good evening, Mr. McClue. Manuel from Faulty Towers will make a great Prime Minister of today's crazy Britain. Hope you're well. Que? Que? Mr. Faulty. So there you go. Uh, Elizabeth Campbell, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. Is the sound okay? Let me know if you're getting the sound all right, because one or two people earlier were saying, oh, the sound's a bit strange. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. I'm appealing for funding for a friend of mine, and I would like you to, uh, if possible, give me £2.50 into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. There you are. Okay, but why did they vote to leave in the first place, says Erica. I think a lot of them didn't realise what they were voting for at the time. Um, Johnson, uh, oh, no, no, come on, we're not going into that, Alistair. Uh, everything's dinky-doo, says Charles Driver, very much so. So a much better broadcast tonight, guys. The clue's fairly well turned out and a little bit short on the top, of course, but that's life. You know, I am 34 now. Uh, Mark Gabler, dinky do. Carl Carlos Donnelly, I'll donate it on Wednesday, only if it suits Carl Carlos Donnelly, but it's much appreciated and I've made it easy. So there you are. You'll see another name pop up, but don't be put off by that. So there you are. Is that CDs or books in the tall shelf behind you? That's CDs. Uh, so a lot of CDs, Adam, from all the shows over the years. Let's see if we can... Oh, there you go. Uh, a big red bus was a belter. Well, you see, what we've got, people say, we voted. It was a democracy. You know, uh, we all voted, but in actual fact, 33 million voted, 17.2 million wanted out three and a half years ago, 17.4 million, 16.2 million wanted to stay three and a half years ago, and a lot more people want to stay. Yes, I can hear you, says Adam M. Fuller. Good, Adam. I appreciate that, because you need to listen to me. So, uh, wonderful stuff. But, um... So what you had, that was mitigated to a 1.2 million so-called majority, right? Now, that majority falls as low as 644,000 if you take into account those who believe the big red bus, Boris's big red bus. It's the whole referendum vote was a farce. David Cameron took what he thought was a formality on no, and it backfired big time. Time to call a halt to it and stay. I agree, Peter Connolly. I think we should remain in the EU. Okay, thank you. Now I know more. If you know something, go to a man with the knowledge. Well, hopefully we've got the knowledge, Erica, because as you know, McClure has studied international affairs with politics and economics over maybe almost 50 years. But um, I don't, uh, I'm apolitical. I don't have any political agenda, but I do like to get the facts out there. 
and it makes me smile. It makes me sad as well, but it makes me smile when you put the facts down on Facebook for some people to go, oh, what, are you an idiot or something? We voted to leave. You say, yes, we do know all this. Have you been asleep? I say, no, but you've obviously been asleep. You know, I had this discussion with uh, with people this morning, so there you are. Uh, Wilma Monroe, what situation is your friend in? A situation where he could do with a little bit of help, Wilma. So there you are. I don't want to cause any embarrassment by going into detail, but he could do with a little bit of help, and I would like to do that if that's possible. Must be my mobile. I had to put you on the big telly now. You're busting my eardrums. You're on the telly. After all, Michael Palmer, me. That's fantastic. Now, explain the technical side to McClue here. Um, do you get one of these cables that goes from your mobile into the back of your digital telly and that will put your mobile on the telly. Is that right? There you are. You need to go for Mr. Speaker's job, Scotty. Get in there, sort them all out, says the wonderful Alistair King, the UK's top motor engineer and mechanic. Yes, I can. you could hear McClue up there going, Order, order. The House must come to order. The Prime Minister... Order, order. The Prime Minister must be heard. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Do you think would that be any good? May I ask the member for McQuackle and McQuackle? Uh, we don't take a point of order at this point. May I inform the member respectfully? Please sit down. Resume your seat. So there we are. Uh, time for me to go. Take care, says Erica. Take care, Erica. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you, do. It's time for me to go, too. Evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, sir. Brilliant, Scotty, says Alistair King. I need to get my gown on, Alistair. You know, and stand up there and say, you know, this is not a knocking shop. So there we are. We do not knock each other. Uh, so, wonderful. Get all that going. Now then, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's happening, you're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, just doing a quick pop up. And I'm also appealing for a little bit of money for a friend of mine who has a requirement. And uh, I'm looking for £2.50 into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, -E, all one word. So there you are, the gown and the bonnet. Yes, I think we need to put on the speaker's bonnet. Order, order. The house must come to order. I will not tell you all again. Would the Honourable Member please sit down? Um, I've transferred you onto my 55-inch smart TV through my soundbar and the wife's boomed downstairs. You wake up the baby. Oh, Peter Connolly, for goodness sake, don't wake up the baby, we say. Um, I've just seen your account. I will donate. We all need a help, says Wilma Monroe. Wilma, we do occasionally. There was a famous aristocrat who once said to his father, I wonder if you can help. And his father was a wealthy man, but he said to him, he said, uh, what's wrong? He said, I'm afraid I've got myself in the SH1T. His father said, how much in the SH1T? And he told him, and it was a substantial sum. And then the next day, that was his father just nodded, and that was it. So he didn't get anything. And then the next day, his father went uh, over and put a check in front of him and said, we all get in the SH1T from time to time. So there you are. So I would like to do that. It would be appreciated because this guy has helped me out and helped other people out over the piece and deserves the best, you know, people like that, people who aren't just, uh, you know, so much for themselves, people who think of others when the chips are down. Wonderful. Well done, Wilma. Good for you. Thank you. There we are. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Tony Mac has joined us. Dinky do, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. A Scotty McClue pop-up. A wee surprise for you. 
And thank you. And so many of you have already given very generously. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I say. John Foster's watching. Thank you, John. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop up just for you saying, Dinky do. Time I wasn't here. I'm just looking at the time, for goodness sake. And time I dashed off. But thank you very much, folks. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for contributing to the appeal. It's very much appreciated. And I will keep you up to date with how we're doing. There's John Gilmer watching. Dinky do, John Gilly Gilmer. How lovely to have you with us, one of the world's great broadcasters. Murray O'Donnell, Dinky Do, another great person. Christine Allen, a fabulous lady. So there we are, wonderful agent, wonderful presenter and actress herself. Lovely to hear from you. Ernie Ross, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Isn't it interesting, all the people that come and join us? How fantastic. So if you can help out with the appeal one last time, then it's paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, £2.50. Very much appreciated. How do I appreciate, how do I donate? Scotty says, Peter Conley, you just um, go on, you'll see the link for paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. So there we are, and it will pop up. In fact, what I'll do is I'll pop the link up now, and then you can see it. And uh, there we go. Well, I'll pop the link up. You'll see it. If you scroll down, you'll see it on Scotty McClure's page. Hi, Scotty. Sorry, just found you on the pop-up. Not at all, Tony Mac. Not a problem. Got it, says Peter Conley. You clever, clever person. How have you done that? So there you are. Wonderful. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. You'll see another name pop up, but don't be put off by that. It is the genuine article. There you are. I am the genuine article. And a guy yesterday going on saying, what's going on here? Oh, no, no, this doesn't seem right. I said, look, you're not being asked for anything. Doesn't matter. As if to say, go away. You don't have to. It's voluntary. It's if you think you can spare £2.50, fine. So <laughs> it's a bit like, I've always thought if you're running a big company, it should be small amounts for the shares, and then you think, well, I've lost two pounds fifty on a share there, you know. For goodness sake. <laughs> I'll take the hit. But, I mean, McClue is the genuine article, as you know. You've known me for 28 years, uh, man and beast. And uh, there we are. So, uh, you know, it's entirely up to yourselves. No problem at all. But I know that uh, that you will help out on this occasion. Very much appreciated. Graham Meekie, it's called crowdfunding, and it's such a clever idea when it is the genuine article. It's uh, it's very much appreciated. Graham Meekie, dinky-doo. Carmack McCusker, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, share and share and share. Hi, Scotty. Our friend Joseph, says Rory Green, was delighted with his shout out last week. Today is his birthday. We're hoping for a birthday message or even a rendition of happy birthday in your dulcet tones. Well, we can't do happy birthday because it's got a copyright. But um, what I can do is wish our friend uh, a very happy birthday. So, Joseph. A very, very happy birthday from Rory Green and from all your friends and Dinky Do from me, Scotty McClue. Fantastic. So donated to the cause. Thank you. Um, is it okay to ask what the 250 is for? Yes, Tony. It's a friend of mine. You'll see the video there. So have a look at the video, Tony, and, um, you know, see what you think about it. You'll see me popping up on the video last night. There it's there. Um, I did the appeal last night. Um, donated to your cause, Scotty. I cannot be worthwhile. Very much, Mario O'Donnell, and very, very much appreciated. Thank you for your kindness, your thoughtfulness, and your generosity. Really is very much appreciated. Marvelous stuff, because if we all give a little bit, it's like the, 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 the five loaves and two fishes. It's like that little parable, that uh, the biblical parable, the five loaves and two fishes. If we all give a little bit, so, uh, you know, many a mickle, max a muckle. Uh, happy birthday, Joseph, from a Dinky Doo fan. Dinky Doo, Wilma Monroe, you're very kind. Tremendous stuff. And uh, Wilma, did you used to phone me on Talk 107? 
So there we are. Do say. Uh, Rory Green. Cheers, Scotty Dinky. Do good luck with the crowdfund. I'll let you know, Rory, how it goes. I'll pop up and tell you if we reach our target. Uh, Scotty, I trust you. Take your word for it. Be very happy to donate the cost. Thank you, Tony Mac. Very much appreciated. Totally £2.50. Um, although some people have been extremely generous and stuck in a lot of pennies. The wonderful God and Roddick has been a great supporter of Scotty McClue's GoFundMe since the start. But that's a different thing. So there you are. You've got Scotty McClue's GoFundMe. Um, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. But that's for the program. That's for me, for advertising and for little bits of equipment. That's a different thing. This is £2.50 because I have a pal that uh, that could do with it. You know, that's the thing. And, uh, you know, I mean, I know we could all do with it these days, but, um, you know, in extremis, I like to uh, I like to help out. Now, I'm going to do a share. It's time I wasn't here, actually. You're getting fed up with me popping up, giving you all this. I'm just say, there's the appeal. You can watch last night's appeal, Tony Mac, and see what's what with that. Fantastic. Share in a group. We'll share to a group right now. Mustache Scotty, I'll chat to you again. Um, off to rescue a damsel in distress. You lucky man. Thank you, Alistair King. Is it okay to get the link to donate, please? Yes. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue all one word. PayPal.me and you'll see it on the page, Tony. So you just click the page and that will do that for you. Fantastic. Yes, I did phone in now and again, says Roman well, Monroe. Fantastic. And we enjoyed hearing from you. And I think you weren't in the Cannon Gate, were you at that time, Wilma? Uh, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to work out. I'm not going to sort of flush you out or anything. But uh, I was just wondering uh, if it's the same, Wilma. Never found out where you popping up, Scotty. We love it. Says Peter Conley. Peter Conley, you are very, very kind. That is very good of you. I'm just going to share in this group here, and uh, and let everybody know that we are on. Fantastic. And uh, if you can share and share and share as you see that, that would be absolutely terrific. So there we go. Right. Time I wasn't here. Are we ready for me to disappear? You'll want the song, of course. Sorry I missed your radio show last night. Mrs. Mac got me exhausted. Oh, lucky man. So there we are. Right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitter then, au revoir, and a cheerio. Scotty McClure says dinky do to every single one of you. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Thanks very much for donating to the cause. Two pounds fifty to. Uh, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, and that will do the deed, I say. Mwah! Bless you all. Good night, and dinky-doo.